So in this problem, we're told a baseball is hit straight up into the air with a speed of 20 meters per second. And then we're asked, how high does it go and how long is it in the air? So let's just write down what we're given first. So given, so it's told that the ball is hit straight in the air with a speed of 20 meters per second. So they're telling us right when the ball is hit in the air, its initial velocity, which is just V sub zero equals 20 meters per second. So we're given that. And then you should also know that since it's hit straight in the air, there is a force acting on it, uh, which is gravity. So gravity, uh, we represent that in acceleration, right? So it's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's the force of gravity acting on the ball. So we have to include that. And then what you need to realize uh, for A, we're asking how high does it go? So if we have this ball going up like this, at some point, we can find the maximum height, right? So that's what it's trying to find for A. And so that's going to be the point when velocity, our final velocity is zero, right? Because you think about it, uh, at this point, right, when it's in the air, at some point, the highest point, right? And you can think about this like in calculus to the derivative. So it's going to be zero. So our final velocity, we can set to zero, and that's going to allow us to solve for the time it takes to uh, reach its highest point in the air. And that's basically what they're asking us for in A. So you want to set V equal to zero. And then it's asking us how high does it go? So that's going to be delta y, right? So the change in position y, y's. And these equations right here uh, have delta x, but just ignore them. Just imagine their delta y works the same exact way. So we're trying to find delta y. We've got all these variables. Let's determine which equation to use. And it should be pretty obvious right off the bat. Uh, 1, 2, and 3 all require time, and we don't have those. So the only equation that we can actually use based on the information given is number 4. So let's solve using this equation. So v squared, which is just 0. So 0 squared is just 0. So 0 equals v sub 0 squared, which is 20. So 20 squared, I'm just going to write it as 400. So 400 plus 2 times a, which is minus 9.8 times delta x in this case, but ours is delta y, right? Because it's changing on the y axis. And so 2 times minus 9.8 is going to be minus 19.6, I think. Yeah, so minus 19.6, and then we're multiplying by delta y. So we, in order to solve for delta y, we can subtract 400 from both sides. So we get minus 400 minus 400 equals minus 19.6 times delta y. And if you divide both sides by minus 19.6, that's going to give us delta y by itself. So minus 400 divided by minus 19.6 is going to be equal to 20.4. And so that means delta y is going to be equal to 20.4. Then keep in mind, this is in meters per second. So this is going to be meters, right? So delta y equals 20.4 meters. So that's the how high it goes. And now we have to determine how long is it in the air. So the equation that we want to use for this one, you could use multiple, but I think the best one to use is this one right here, the first one. And we have all the variables to solve. And I'll show you why this one works. So what you're going to want to do is set v equal to 0, just like this one. So 0 equals v sub 0, which is 20 plus a, which is minus 9.8 times t. And so the reason this works, or let me actually solve it first. So if you subtract 20, you'll get minus 20 on this side equals minus 9.8t. Dividing by minus 9.8t is going to give you the number of seconds. And so if you do this, you should get t equals 2.04 seconds. But this isn't going to be your final answer. And so the reason this is, is because remember zero is when it reaches its highest point in the air, right? Because at this point, it doesn't have uh, any velocity. That's essentially what we just solved for. So we didn't solve for it going the whole way, uh, how long it's in the air. We just found out till it reaches its highest point. And so, but what you need to know is that for problems like these, the amount of time it spends going up is going to be the same amount of time it sp uh, spends going down. So we can just find the time it spends till it reaches its highest point. We can double it. And that's going to be the amount of time it's in the air. So if this going up is 2.04 sec uh, seconds, uh, going down is also going to be 2.04 seconds. 
So we can find the whole amount of time just multiplying by two. So if we just multiply by two, 2.04 times two is gonna be 4.08, and then it's just gonna be seconds, right? So 4.08 uh, seconds is gonna be your answer to B. The answer to A was 20.4 meters. And so yeah, that's how you solve this problem.